Welcome back everyone. Now this time we're going to be looking at one of my favorite games for the mid-1990s and um, what I consider to be within the top five best games ever made and that is Blood Omen Legacy of Cain for Windows 95. Blood Omen Legacy of Cain was published by Crystal Dynamics. You can see little gex there. And it was developed by Silicon Knights, one of the greatest developers in history, which unfortunately is no more. And this game came at an important time because it was a time in which Western RPGs were practically non-existent. And um, this was proof that Western developers can also make good RPGs. And this one stands the test of time with honors. Now, as you can see, there's a little Dracula tile there. And um, this was actually popularized for the Coppola film Dracula in the mid-90s. And uh, this release is actually a very good example of a game that caused a lot of impact when it was first released and uh, perhaps the only one in the series that is actually worth playing. None of the others actually guarded the success of this one. Let's open this up. Now uh, this game actually earns its M rating because it does have some mature content that would really not be suitable for children. And not just blood but very philosophical ways on life and um, other scenes that children actually would not appreciate as much as adults and as those of you who are enthusiasts of the um, Silicon Knights games you know that they're not ignorant at all I mean they've done their studies they've done their Lovecraft and their Poe and Blake and pretty much everything else under the literature umbrella so uh, you always get a very high cultural level with their games now the instruction manual unfortunately is in black and white but uh, given that this is a mid-90s PC release it was more or less expected but it's actually very well thought out and this manual is um, very useful because it doesn't give away too much of the story and it gives you the basics but perhaps the highlight of this particular release is the map of Noskoth. Yes, this release of Legacy of came came with a map of Noskoth, the fictional medieval world where Cain takes place. And um, this map is a very high quality print and it's very highly collectible. In fact, the PC version of Legacy of Cain has risen in price and rarity because um, nobody really gave it much attention back in the day as Malik of the Seraphim, slaying vampires, supercilious bitch, and Vorador, taking no nonsense from anyone, giving Malik what he deserves. His failure and his punishment, being locked into a magical armor, the murdering of Ariel, Mortanius, and several scenes from the origin of Cain. Now, um, these illustrations are amazingly good. In fact, they remind me of the illustrations of Yoshitaka Amano from the Final Fantasy series. And um, this map is really worthy of placing into a frame and putting it on your wall, which is what I will be doing shortly. Now, if you want a game that really defies the norm and makes good use of every element from any game you can think of. Look no further than Legacy of Cain. I mean seriously, what other game will penalize you for not killing people and taking their blood for you to survive? This is one of those games that comes only once in a lifetime. So there you have it. Blood Elm and Legacy of Cain. Easily among the top five best games ever created. Very revolutionary and one of a kind, really. So check it out. It's available on the PlayStation also. 
And I swear, once you hear the dialogue in this game, you will not believe your ears. You won't want to shut this off. And you'll be quoting it non-stop. Bye, Victus.